Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about reusability. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, my manager has told me that sometimes reusability is overrated. Does he have a point? Absolutely he has. He has a very good point. Um, it's it's the essence of the same sort of point that I try to make when I try to say to people that generic doesn't necessarily mean good and when usually this happens when philosopher developers get too into their design patterns or when they try to optimize things uh, it's usually that they're more focused on their solution then whether or not they have a problem where this solution is a good fit. And reusability is one of those things where, so far guys, I have never, at this point, been to a company where the term reusable components hasn't been thrown around at least a few times. Uh, in this case it's for the front-end developers. Back-end developers have their own vices, but uh, I love to use front-end developers for the question of reusability because in theory every single front-end application has these sorts of reusable components and when you work on a as a single team it's easier to keep these things consistent because the code base is very small. This gets increasingly more difficult the larger the system and when you have multi-team multi, multi -team setups across an entire company it's borderline impossible to keep everything consistent but it is what you actually want. And the thing is that everybody says that the reusability here is very desirable, but very few people actually understand how complicated it is to make that happen. Because what usually happens is that people start different initiatives to try to create reusable components, but they don't really have an organization structure or a management system that actually means that the reusable components are being used, that they fill the use case, because a quite very common mistake people do is that they implement something and it's supposed to be reusable, but it's only reusable twice and then on the third go it's not reusable anymore because the specification changed or something very difficult happened which meant that the team that needed to use this reusable component could and so now you're out of sync and now you have some products that are in a consistent state and some products are not in a consistent state and so when your manager says the reusability might be overrated sometimes it really comes down to the cost value benefit analysis here because if you try which is a very common thing for some developers to make things very usable very dry you try to apply one of these design patterns and you don't really know how much value you're going to get back from it you're just simply doing it because it's a convention or it is something that is desirable for you but you don't know what the cost is and what the value is you haven't done that analysis which is super super common uh, among the like this is usually what happens when mid-levels are involved and not so much when the real seniors are involved all you're gonna do is that you're going to pay a lot for very little that's in essence what you're doing because your perfect reusable component might actually be very costly to create and as I said if you do it incorrectly it's actually still gonna end up just being used maybe a fraction of the, a fraction of the time but the cost that you paid was higher than if you just did a one-off solution and so some people will give you which is a sort of loose rule that they say you should only abstract things or create gen reusable things if you follow the uh, with the rule of three basically if you see something being repeated three times then you create a reusable thing from it. The problem with that is that that's also in the beholder side. That's why I don't really like using this term because basically what I see is a classic one is that I see software developers find some logic that seems similar across different domains for example and then they think all right cool I will create a generic function here that basically takes all these steps that are completely like the same and then I'm going to create a generic solution to this and as I said they do that but they don't really consider whether or not these features are coupled in any way which is a different perspective that you should have when you develop systems because an example would be I who have been me who has been working for a few years I can tell that if you couple like a few of these different systems together you de de create this abstraction what's going to happen instead of you creating a simpler solution is that you're going to temporarily 
create a clean, like what you think is a generic solution, it's right, right now it's identical in every single way, perhaps, so it makes sense. But I also know from experience that these features have a life of their own and they are actually not being developed consistently. In other words, the, the thing that you created an abstraction for is, a, is, is just a circumstantial situation. It's just temporarily going to stay in this state. But very quickly you'll see that these resources, these feature, this feature, these three things that you or these things that you have tied together, they're going to start developing in their own way. And what happens is that when one of them now starts developing, maybe they get tons of different feature requirements on one of these entities that you've abstracted away into your generic solution. Well, now all of a sudden your solution, your generic solution has to support that use case and very quickly you can find that you actually complicate the generic solution to the point where there's like two minor fun pieces of functionality in your magic function or service that actually caters to the common use case and 90% of the code is just written for one use case. So all of a sudden the question is, was this actually a good abstraction? If 90% of the f complexity comes in to one of these things, then maybe you should have had that as a separate thing because it had very clearly more complicated features coming along that doesn't actually make sense anymore. These things are no longer really generic. It's really just you who are trying to shoehorn in a generic or reusable uh, concept into something that is actually not really reusable. And the thing that I argue for is not that the rule of three should be applied. Uh, the, this is one of those situations where I truly believe that only master level software developers or like truly, truly senior software developers will get this right because they will have built so many implementations that are not reusable or so forth that they have a sixth sense. Basically, they develop a sense of looking at things and saying, yeah, I'm thinking that this abstraction here, this can probably be a reusable thing because it's a, it is a truly reusable concept. But these things that are quote unquote reusable, they're, as I said, they might not be a good investment because they're not really causing any issues. It's actually faster to just keep them separated or it's safer to keep them separated because most of the time it is not a use, a reusability is, as I said, it's a complicated thing. It's much more risky to try to make something reusable than it is to make a one-off solution depending on circumstances, as I've said. But they will be able to tell usually based on a lot of experience when an interface should be abstracted or when you should make something generic or you should just keep it do you know unreusable uh, and to me I've never seen a correlation between oh I saw this three times and we should make this abstraction uh, it's always a question of these people truly understand their business they understand how the work is being done and they understand the domain they're dealing with and like how all the services talk to each other so as I said it's almost like a sixth sense they get this sense, this very good feeling for that all right all of these features they're actually bundled into the same set of requirements almost all the time so here we can ga make some gains if we just create an abstraction that caters to all those use cases instead of re-implementing them several times so what I want you to take away from this is that your boss is, or your manager is definitely great. Some reusability is overrated in many, many cases, and the reason being because if you go for reusability without understanding the cost that you are paying, it's very likely that you're just going to end up creating an abstraction that is more complicated than not. And there is quite a lot of times, guys, where I go to projects where they've done this exact thing. They've created a super generic interface for something, and all it actually has become is this very messy super function or super f service that does like a million things, and they've passed in basically this super complicated object that does like a bunch of switches, basically a configuration a hell with if statements and conditions and so forth. So their, their reusable solution is, yeah, it's reusable if you can figure out what the damn thing is supposed to be doing. That's not good code because reusability should, as the rule that I've always told you guys about before is, your code should become simpler. That's what you're going for. It should be doing what it's supposed to be doing and you should simplify it. And simplifying just from the perspective of who's going to call the function doesn't overall make the solution simpler. It just makes it simpler if you know exactly how the thing is supposed to work and you never change it and you're just calling it. But the poor motherfucker is going to have to figure out what all the code is doing and update that and maintain it. That person has, like, that's also time wasted. That's also complexity. So you have to think about it both from the implementation's perspective, but also from the consumption's perspective. Because if those two are out of sync, 
then you're not gaining simplicity or like velocity, development velocity. You're actually just creating an abstraction w for something where you could maybe gain simplicity and actual development speed by not making it reusable. Have a great day.